So here we are. We're gonna go and ask a few questions, see if we can find out where the giant skeletons ended up. We're at the Smithsonian Institution, the American Indian Museum. Uh, it's a very modern building. Looks a bit strange actually. We're gonna go and see what they got in here and we're gonna see if we can find the old Smithsonian building after this and actually check it out. But here we are, here's the entrance. skeletons the giant skeletons have gone obviously uh, no one knows a thing here uh, but we had a look around there's some interesting artifacts but it does feel a bit odd it feels a bit weird it feels like it's kind of like almost like redemption of the Smithsonian or the American government but nonetheless we're gonna go and check out the old Smithsonian building the castle uh, just to get some um, shots of that and get a feel for like the old days in the 1800s when the Smithsonian began when it was in full swing so um, you know, it kind of feels like a sad place, this museum, but, you know, it's worth a visit if you're here. So we're here in Washington, D.C. We're just heading across the street to visit the old Smithsonian building. This is where I would imagine the skeletons arrived at when they were being sent from the various places around the country. Then they disappeared. But this is the old building. This is the famous one. Uh, so it's fascinating to actually be here. Quite strange actually to be here at the Smithsonian Institution at the old building where it all began that's now it's called the Smithsonian Castle absolutely fascinating it's just amazing that so many of these giant skeletons actually arrived here literally hundreds probably thousands tens of thousands there's I mean there's so many reports that we've uncovered and then you have the, the tens of thousands of bones that were then recorded and then they even got out of partly got out of uh, returning the bones to the, the Native Americans uh, with the NAGPRA Act. They kind of got away with that. So it just seems strange that they, they almost like the Smithsonian have kind of taken over Washington, D.C. Uh, along with the, the U.S. government. And uh, But it's here where they all arrived. And proof, if it's anywhere, is going to be somewhere under this building. Unfortunately, no one knows anything you know you could ask everyone here questions about where these giant skeletons are and they're going to come back so oh, there's one six foot three skeleton officially and then that's it so it's kind of a closed door but we wanted to come and check it out ourselves just to see see what the score is at the smithsonian institution here in washington dc
So we're actually inside the Smithsonian Institution Castle building. It looks pretty rough. I think they're renovating or something, but it's a mess. Uh, it's not very nice. It feels like kind of weird energy here. There are a few things here. Uh, there is a historical collection. Um, let's take a look. So, there's many nice things here at the Smithsonian Institution. However, where are the giant skeletons? Where are all the skulls? Where are the double rows of teeth? Where are the giant femur bones? They're just not here. Uh, there's nothing here. It's just like there must be some secret place where they've stored them all, where they've destroyed them. There's even rumors they sent them out on a barge and threw them all out to sea. So, the jury's out as to where they are, but we do know a great number of accounts and reports of them actually turning up here. And this is really part of our research, mine and Jim Vieira's research on the ancient skeletons of America, the giant skeletons. So we hope you can check out our TV series, Search for the Lost Giants, and get our book, Giants on Record, because this is the hub of it. This is where it all boils down to the whole kind of issue of where the skeletons actually disappeared and we know that some of them quite a lot of them in fact ended up here so i had to come and visit here just to check it out for myself and strange strange energy here but well worth a visit just to get the sort of you know historical perspective on what we're dealing with here so signing off now see you soon mm -hmm.